One thing I love about Woodland is the theme park. One thing I love about Woodland is our musicians. One thing I love about Woodland is our pastor. I love the church when friends are here. I like VBS. One thing I love about Woodland is um, learning about what happened in the past about Jesus and God. As the early life of Christ began in a stable, so did the life of Woodland Baptist Church. In the spring of 1938, a group of families gathered and organized a church in a barn on Cedar Top, not because of animosity or division from other churches, but because of the lack of transportation to the nearest Baptist church. These old saints wanted to worship regularly and carry on the Lord's work and to train up their children in the way they should go. Thus, Woodland Baptist Church was born. The new church called the Reverend I.A. Reinhardt as their first pastor. Reverend Reinhardt's first podium was a 55-gallon oil barrel, and the pews were made of sawmill slabs and blocks cut from nearby trees. During cold weather, Sunday school was held in the home of Orville Sizemore. The first baptisms were held in the Pigeon River near Canton High School, with other baptisms held in Richland Creek. Following the baptism of a large number of converts and others joining by letter, more room was needed, and in the fall of 1938, a little white church building was built on land purchased from Hardy Medford near the barn. It had no plumbing and was heated by a coal-burning stove. Additional Sunday school rooms were added as the church began to grow under the blessing of the Lord. In 1949, the church began to make plans for a new and more modern building and additional land was purchased nearby. The Reverend G.W. Jameson was elected as pastor on September 27, 1950. Under Reverend Jameson's leadership, a new brick building was built with classrooms underneath the new sanctuary. The first baptism was held in the new baptismal pool on May 1, 1955. God continued to grow the church. This is Corone Ferguson Smith. One of my very first memories of, was of Mama taking me to church at Woodland. Of course, this was the old church, and I'm not sure exactly how old I was, but I know I had to be lifted up onto the pew. We didn't have children's church then, so all the kids sat with their parents. When I was about five or maybe six, Reverend Jamerson preached a service about the unforgivable sin. I didn't know a lot about sin, but Mama had read us bedtime stories from her home life magazine about God's forgiving sin and about obeying your parents. He explained that the unforgivable sin was never accepting Christ as your Savior. At the invitation, I ran to the front and told Reverend Jameson I wanted to be saved. Woodland Baptist Church is very special to me. I love Woodland Baptist Church. It's my home church. They have taught me and encouraged me and comforted me and loved me over the years. So all the people here and all they have meant to me over the years is why I love Woodland. The church called the Reverend Eugene Ridley in July of 1971. Under Reverend Ridley's leadership, the church began and completed a beautiful sanctuary adjacent to the brick building. This was done through the unified efforts of the entire church body, with much of the work completed by church members. Come two or three weeks from this coming Sunday, I will have been here at Woodland for 42 years. We came here in October of 1978. My husband Joe, our daughter Judy, and I. So it's been almost 42 years ago, and since that time, I have dibbled and dabbled and been in a little bit of a lot of things at Woodland. I've taught a Sunday school class, I've taught Bible school, I have directed vacation Bible school, I've served as a trustee, I've been on three pastoral search committees, I've been on the finance committee. What do I like about Woodland? I've loved Woodland ever since the first time we attended here. During my husband's illness, and that's been over 12 and a half years, Woodland was our fortress. The people stood behind us, they took us for doctor's appointments, they came and stayed with Joe when I had to go to the grocery store on Sunday morning so I could go to Sunday school, just those kinds of things. And they stood behind us the entire time of his illness and his passing and so on. And after he passed away in March of 2008, people said, well, are you going back to Woodland? And I said, well, where would I go? I said, that's, our, that's my church family. His services were on a uh, Sunday, and I came back to Little the next Sunday. 
this was home, this was my church, they have stood behind me, they have supported me, and I'm still here. In December 1981, the church called Reverend Glenn Rogers as pastor. Under Pastor Rogers' leadership, the church planned and built a fellowship hall, which was used for many activities of the church. Reverend Rogers served Woodland for 13 years. On July 17, 1999, the Reverend Alan Davis preached his first sermon as pastor of Woodland Baptist Church. Under Pastor Alan's leadership, the church centered all programs around God's holy and inspired word. Woodland experienced a harvest of souls and spiritual growth in the church body. Because of our spiritual growth, Woodland saw the need for physical growth. On November 5, 2006, Woodland voted to move the church's physical plant to 545 Crabtree Road, Waynesville, North Carolina, about a mile from its facility on Old Clyde Road. On July 27, 2008, the last worship celebration of Woodland Baptist Church at 1400 Old Clyde Road was held. The following Sunday, Woodland met at the new location. The worship celebration saw the facility packed with approximately 512 in attendance. We at Woodland are thankful for all the building programs and good stewardship of its members, but even more thankful for the many converts and mission programs, and missions have continued to be a top priority. Strong local missions continue at Woodland. With looking beyond Haywood County, our church is blessed to have assisted North Carolina Baptist Convention with a church plant in North Asheville, the Covenant Church of the Highlands, and assisting the North American Mission Board with the establishment of a church plant, Redemption Church Cody in Cody, Wyoming. Hey guys, this is Justin. Hi, I'm Amber. We've been a part of Woodland Baptist Church since 2003, that's 17 years. You know, ever since me and Amber started looking for a church in 2003, we always thought the moment that we walked in the door that we were family. We love you guys. See you later. On May 1st, 2019, Woodland welcomed Reverend Josh Frazier, his wife Lydia, and daughter Mabry as our new pastor and family. Our vision is, through the power of the Holy Spirit, Woodland will go, glorify, grow, give, because of the gospel of Jesus Christ, in order to be the church. God is doing exciting things at Woodland, and we joyously look forward to all that He has for us as we accomplish this vision. We affirm the vision of the saints before us and no victory comes through Christ alone.